Hi guys, it's Myron here with Night Vision Outfitters. We're going to talk about the new Envision Optics Atlas Thermal Binocular this evening. Um, you've probably seen some pictures through the unit. It's uh, got a really, really impressive image quality. Uses the uh, BAE 12 micron thermal core, the same thing that's used by o, uh, Trigicon. Um, a few military grade thermals use it. Anyway, it's probably the cleanest thermal sensor on the market. So we're just going to show you a few of the features on this, a few of the functions of it, uh, kind of how it comes to you, just a little overview, and then we'll show some video from uh, a hunt from the other night. So real quick, we'll show you kind of what all it comes with. It comes in a little hard case, just like this, nothing too fancy, a little padded hard case. comes with uh, some of these optical tissues like every thermal seems to come with. It's got a little quick reference card. Uh, this is all your instructions, so it's real simple. There's the front page, tells you the, what the buttons do. The inside, so if anybody's trying to read that, you can pause it. And then on the back, very, very, very simple. So looking at the unit itself, on the top, power button here. Hold it down for about four seconds, turns it on, turns it off. When it's on, a quick press takes a photo. Next one over is your zoom. It's a step zoom, two and a half to uh, 20, I believe, in increments. Over here, center button takes you into the menu if you hold it down. A quicker press of it takes you through the color palette. You've got black hot, white hot, and then you can alternate either having um, edge detect enabled or a color mode. Up and down, or plus and minuses, you've got a, that's a gain control that you can hit on the fly. Um, and then to calibrate it or nuke it, you hold down the plus sign. So on the front, you have an adjustable objective focus. On the back, it's pretty. It's a really pretty neat feature. It has an automatic diopter. So when you're looking through this thing, you don't have to adjust it to your eyeballs. It automatically co-aligns itself. So it really works very good. Everybody that's looked through it hasn't had any trouble seeing anything or having everything look awesome. On the front, you got a nice built-in rubber cap. Very, very nice 50 millimeter lens. Uh, performance, as far as identification, detection at distance, very co comparable to the Trigicon 60 millimeter. Here's your battery compartment. Open it up here. You've got a little cartridge. It's all, you know, very well machined, well, well built stuff. Uh, three one two threes, kind of fits snugly in this little cap here. And then you can drop it back in there, line it up with the threads and then screw it back down. So nothing nothing to it, it's really simple. On the bottom, this is your access for plugging those cables in. So you've got that little dot there, you just line it up and they kind of snap in and stay secure. So overall, very, very good design. It's very sturdy, nice rubber, ruggedized type housing. So now we're in the menu here, we'll show you the settings in here briefly, really easy. System settings, calibration type blade or manual blade is an internal shutter like Pulsar and some of them have. Video output, enable photo, so you can tell it whether it can save or not save pictures. Output video, saves battery if you're not outputting video. Then video settings is next down. That's your brightness, contrast, uh, CE level is a gain, uh, sharpness. Colorization, edge detect, those are just enabling a couple of different palettes that you can use. Then system info, that's just giving you your firmware. Gallery, if you've got any pictures on it, you can look at them there. And that's it. It's basically a one-page menu. Very, very, very simple. One thing I'd like to point out is how lightweight it is. It's fairly compact, but it's very lightweight and easy to carry around. This is with batteries and everything ready to go. You're at one pound and just over nine ounces. So less than two pounds for a 50 millimeter scanner. That's pretty impressive.
thank you all very much for taking the time to watch through on this video. If anybody has any questions on this unit, please let me know. Otherwise, you guys take care and thanks again.